Beneath the surface of Iceland an alarming situation is unfolding capturing the attention of those living in the region the once stable ground now quivers with foreboding seismic tremors causing unease among the residents a massive 100T crack has emerged sparking concern and anxiety across Europe this could potentially be the precursor to the largest volcanic eruption. The continent has ever witnessed as uncertainty looms over the inhabitants experts are working tirelessly to unravel the imminent threat but what does this impending disaster mean for Europeans? And the world join us as we explore the intricate details of this unfortunate sequence of events as Iceland's 100T volcano crack is about to cause the biggest eruption in Europe. Iceland boasts a captivating history of volcanic activity that spans not just decades but centuries. We turn now to the spectacular eruption of a volcano in Iceland. Recently the nation has declared a state of emergency due to heightened volcanic Occurrences on November 13, 2023 A series of earthquakes prompted the evacuation of thousands from Grindavik a town nestled in southwest Iceland, but is this truly surprising news? It's important to understand that Iceland is a hub of geological dynamism boasting 33 active volcano systems positioned on the mid-Atlantic ridge, where the colossal North American and Eurasian tectonic plates converge. Iceland is described as an emerged part of the ocean floor. This unique location makes it one of the most tectonically active places globally while news of volcanic eruptions in Iceland may not be shocking given its history there's a distinct aspect to this latest event in the 10th century the Velta eruption at Badabunga marked the first recorded volcanic incident in the region after human settlement subsequent eruptions have continued to disrupt the country's stability including the notorious Ijaf geological eruption of 2010 which significantly impacted European air travel interestingly this volcano displayed a cyclic pattern of activity erupting in 9201613 and 1821-1823 however Iceland's volcanic rhythm has undergone a shift typically eruptions occur approximately every five years. But since 2021 they've been happening almost annually Fagradalsfjall an area about 35 kilometers from Reykjavik the capital city usually witnesses these eruptions in 2021 and 2022 Fagradalsfjall even transformed into a tourist attraction drawing visitors from around the world eager to witness the captivating. Lava flows the volcanic landscape of Iceland with its dynamic history and recent changes continues to captivate both locals and global observers alike recent news of eruptions from another volcano has left everyone on edge, as it could potentially be the largest eruption ever witnessed in Europe this is a significant concern because volcanic eruptions can have a profound impact on the well-being of the Icelandic people given the harmful substances concealed in volcanic ash these eruptions release. Various gases including heat trapping carbon dioxide, CO2, and cooling gases like sulfur dioxide, SO2. The repercussions of major volcanic events such as the devastating Mount Tambora eruption in 1815, which led to famine serve as a samba reminder of the disruptive and deadly nature of these occurrences. Another historical example is the Larky eruption of 1783, which unleashed clouds of poisonous fluorine and sulfur dioxide resulting in the tragic demise of about 50% of Iceland's livestock population larger eruptions can transport ash over vast distances as seen in the 2010 Ijaf geological eruption whose ash spread across Europe despite the challenges posed by volcanic ash. There is a silver lining other volcanic activities have led to the discovery of minerals crucial to industrial production Iceland's unique geological features such as the breathtaking Dimuborgi rock formations attract tourists from around the world adding an economic and aesthetic dimension to the countries volcanic legacy however these aesthetic and economic benefits do not diminish the sense of anticipation hanging over Grindavik and the entirety of Iceland they provide little consolation for the impending eruption of the 100T volcano crack which threatens to displace people damage properties and worst of all claim lives the signs are evident prompting residents to evacuate their homes in preparation for this frightening possibility meanwhile the looming uncertainty raises questions about the Safety and future of the affected communities, the town of Grindavik has been jolted by an overwhelming surge in seismic activity experiencing more than a thousand earthquakes since October 24, 2023. At one alarming point an astonishing 800 tremors rattled the area in just 24 hours this unsettling seismic unrest prompted swift action from Icelandic authorities resulting in the closure of popular tourist spots and the issuance of evacuation orders compelling residents to hastily leave their homes. The Reykjanes Peninsula also faced over 1,000 earthquakes within a mere 24-hour period before the evacuation signaling a worrisome surge in seismic activity that demanded immediate attention captured footage revealed steam rising from a crack a startling sight that raised concerns within the Civil Protection Agency the government emphasized that the country is confronting unprecedented events unlike anything Icelanders have experienced. 
since the Vesmanija eruption in 1973, which endured for six months necessitating the evacuation of an island and destroying 100 homes despite the challenges the government reinstated resilience rallying the nation with a message of unity and determination the urgency tied to the Grindavik earthquake stems from an underground river of magma stretching an incredible 15 kilometers in length the presence of this active magma flow raised serious concerns leading to the mandatory evacuation of the town despite efforts to grant residents brief access to gather essential belongings the high risk status of the area has made Rintree impossible maintaining a delicate situation for the town's inhabitants this unsettling development also prompted street closures effectively halting travel in the area for an indefinite period to safeguard the region construction has commenced on protective barriers encircling a critical geothermal plant near Grindavik the efforts aim to shield the area from potential hazards and ensure the safety of both the environment and the people residing in Grindavik this power source is crucial for the entire country ensuring that electricity keeps flowing everywhere the goal was to shield this important infrastructure from potential lava flows making sure the electricity supply stays uninterrupted however this protective measure led to a significant part of Grindavik experiencing a power outage shortly afterward in a race against time workers worked tirelessly to restore electricity before any potential eruption emphasizing the proactive steps taken to safeguard the town's essential services in the face of the looming volcanic threat recognizing the urgency and distress of the situation the police granted special permission to select residents of Grindavik on November 16 accompanied by rescue vehicle escorts these individuals were allowed a brief return to the town to retrieve their valuables aiming to ease their immediate concerns the community's response to the impending crisis is both impressive and Necessary as tensions rise shelters and support systems are swiftly established to help those displaced by the unfolding events a non-profit organization equipped with an app to locate missing pets sprang into action their efforts resulted in the rescue of various animals including 49 cats 4 hamsters 90 pigeons sheep frogs parrots 3 kittens an Arabic from the town this compassionate endeavor amid the crisis showcased the community's commitment to the welfare of its residents both human an animal alike this situation highlights how significantly the earthquake displaced residents offering insight into how dire things could be if the impending eruption occurs the fear and unrest have spread throughout the community after a series of recorded earthquakes the seismic activity in Iceland appeared to decrease dropping to about 20,000 tremors daily by November 12 however on November 23 approximately 200 and 50 quakes were recorded from midnight to 11:30 a.m. despite this authorities maintain that the overall earthquake activity seems to be on a decreasing trend even though the recent slowdown in earthquake activity may seem like a positive development it's not easing the tension in the area scientists are examining this decrease with caution emphasizing that fewer earthquakes might offer a temporary sigh of relief but don't necessarily mean a reduced threat from volcanic activity the concern arises from the possibility that this lull could be signaling a different phase in the volcanic cycle possibly indicating the gradual movement of magma closer to the surface they also watch for small changes in how the ground moves showing that magma might be moving checking volcanic gases gravity and magnetic fields adds more details to the puzzle sometimes all this watching pays off and scientists can guess when a volcano might erupt making it safer for everyone consider the case of the Pinatubo volcano in the Philippines back in 1991 thanks to a successful forecast based on advanced monitoring techniques thousands of lives were saved the Pinatubo success story underscores the vital role of interpreting consistent changes from the usual activity levels in making accurate short-term eruption forecasts now talking about Grindavik there are signs that a volcano might erupt but we're not exactly sure when or how big it might be Professor Van Crandon says predicting these Things is tricky even though we know about cracks in the Earth's surface that can give us hints the way magma mixes with the hard surface is kind of unpredictable scientists are doing their best but volcanoes can be surprising they sometimes change their behavior out of the blue making it tough to make accurate predictions to guess when a volcano might erupt scientists use a mix of old data monitoring what's happening right now and knowing a lot about how that specific volcano works but even Looking at past eruptions doesn't always help many volcanoes don't have enough records from the past to know when they usually erupt and just when you think a volcano is doing the same thing over and over it can surprise everyone by doing something different Icelandic authorities. Armed with enhanced technology and a robust infrastructure are keeping a close eye on the situation they are working hard to prepare for the worst offering support to the residents of Grindavik as they face the scary reality of living on top of one of the most active volcanic areas in the world and in the meantime people are staying cautious ready to move quickly if things get worse the future remains uncertain.
and the people of Grindavik are left in a state of anxiety hoping that the warnings and evacuations will be enough to keep them safe from the potentially catastrophic eruption. The Icelandic Meteorological Office remains committed to monitoring seismic activity and providing timely updates to the public ensuring that everyone is well informed about the evolving situation.